GeForce Now has officially introduced Xbox PC Game Pass, and I gotta say, it's fantastic. But along with the introduction come a lot of questions on how it works. So for today's video, we're gonna be explaining everything you need to know about Game Pass on GFN. To kick things off, let's go with the basics. What exactly is PC Game Pass and why is it such a big deal? To keep it simple, it's a PC game subscription service that Xbox offers which gives you access to hundreds of high quality PC games for the low monthly price of $9.99. And a big part of the reason why it's called the best deal in gaming is simply because Xbox Game Studio and Bethesda Studio titles appear on the service day one when they launch and are forever on the library. It is worth noting that some third party content also can appear day one but those titles will rotate out and ample warning will be given before they do so. But how exactly does this integrate into GeForce Now? Well, Xbox PC Game Pass actually uses Microsoft Store to launch titles. Therefore, Nvidia needed to add support for the Microsoft Store launcher. Now, the good news is that while this does enable PC Game Pass support, it does also support just the Microsoft Store in general. So let's say you're not subscribed to PC Game Pass and enjoy buying your games outright, you can just buy them on the Microsoft Store if you choose to do so. This is good for two reasons. One, user choice. Chances are if you own an Xbox and you bought an Xbox game in the past, it may be an Xbox Play Anywhere title. In that case, you're given the rights to actually have it on the Microsoft Store as well as your Xbox with just one single purchase. And two, for third party titles that do get removed off PC Game Pass, you can actually buy them and continue to play them through the Microsoft Store if you choose to do so. This way you can continue your progress and continue earning achievements if it's a game you plan on playing for the long term. But now that you know what it is, how it works, and some of the benefits it brings to you as a user on GeForce Now, let's take a look at some frequently asked questions that I've seen pop up quite often. So let's tackle a big one right out of the gate. Will all future Xbox PC Game Pass titles be available on GeForce Now the same day as PC? Nvidia's current statement on the matter is that their goal is to always release games the same day they become available on any digital store. They'll do their best to bring games to GeForce Now the same day they become available on Xbox PC Game Pass, but some games may take a little longer to launch on GFN. As users, it's important to remember that games need to be added on a game by game basis and the GeForce Now team has to onboard the title and test it to ensure members can stream them without any issues. And that's exactly why they do these GFN Thursday drops where they announce support for all the new games that week. Heads up, subscribe to the channel to not miss out on that info as I do cover it each and every week. But it's also worth pointing out that that's why not the entire PC Game Pass catalog has support, or for that matter the entire Steam store has support. It's definitely not as easy as flicking a switch, but credit where it's due, they've been doing a fantastic job this month in terms of the quantity of games being added each and every week. Hopefully they can continue that pace because I gotta say it's been a huge improvement. But now let's move on to the next big question. Why do I need to log into my Xbox account every time I play a game on GeForce Now? Yes, this is incredibly annoying and yes, Nvidia is fully aware. They currently do not support saving your Xbox account username and password on GFN like other clients, but this is something they're working to fix in the future. My personal take on this matter is that I'd much rather deal with the minor annoyances right now and have the feature out and available for those who want to use it than having to wait later down the road for full on support. At the end of the day, I feel like Nvidia updates GFN quite often and I don't think it'll be too long before we see this issue get resolved. Now the last big question I want to tackle head on before talking about some troubleshooting tips is one about availability. Does the Xbox PC Game Pass or the Microsoft Store support the same countries as GeForce Now? The answer to that is no. PC Game Pass supports a different set of countries than GFN, and may not be available in all regions that GeForce Now operates in. As a result, some games that are available on other digital stores may not offer you the option to play them on Xbox PC Game Pass or the Microsoft Store depending on your region, though they'll still be available to stream on GFN if you own them through other digital platforms like Steam or the Epic Game Store. But now, onto some quick troubleshooting that I've seen some people post about. Why does my Xbox account sometimes say I am signed in on another device? This message tends to pop up if you see yourself quitting a session and then launching another one right away. There's always a chance that you'll sign into a different instance on GFN servers and thus this message will pop up. Simply press sign in here, re-log into your Xbox account, and you'll be good to go. But what do you do if you see the message saying we are unable to sync your data with the cloud at the moment when playing Xbox PC Game Pass games? Nvidia's current recommendation is pressing try again until the saves get loaded. I will point out that I do run into this issue using PC Game Pass locally and clicking try again usually resolves it. I do want to point out though that Nvidia has stated they are looking to fix both problems I just discussed in the future. 
Now the last bit of information I want to add here toward the end is an important one if you plan on making in-game purchases. Nvidia currently does not support purchasing content in-game on GeForce Now. Therefore, users should purchase any in-game content like downloadable content or in-game currency directly from the Microsoft Store. So if you find yourself in a position where you want to buy some in-game currency or a DLC pack, make sure you do it through the Microsoft Store on your own. Now before wrapping things up, you should know there is a link in the description below that will take you to the GeForce Now subreddit to the Frequently Asked Questions thread. You can find more info and detail there directly from NVIDIA themselves, so be sure to check it out. Though I did my best to summarize the most commonly asked questions that I've been seeing in the comment sections. And all I ask in return is that if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful at all, you hit that like button as it really does help the channel out. And if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. As always, thank you for watching the video, I hope you have a great day, this has been The Virtual Cloud, giving you the latest and greatest on everything cloud gaming related, and until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds.